This video is about a proposed mechanism for the Cycloramic app on the iPhone 5. The app uses vibration to rotate the phone and take a panoramic video. I'm going to try to explain why the phone rotates when it's vibrating on end. I think the vibrator in the phone acts like a gyroscope, which precesses when a torque is applied. The phone's vibrator is a half disc of heavy metal connected to a motor. The motor spins the disc and the phone tries to move opposite the disc to conserve momentum. Because the phone is so much more massive than the vibrator disc, it doesn't move much, just enough to vibrate. So the phone tries to move in a loop around its axis that is parallel to the surface of the table, which causes one of the phone's corners to lift up. The up and down motion of that corner of the phone moves the rod the vibrator is on like a seesaw. If you move the rod of a spinning gyroscope up and down, the gyro will precess clockwise and counterclockwise about its spindle, which is perpendicular to the rod's axis. So why doesn't the precession in one direction cancel out the precession in the other? Why does the phone rotate? What happens is a greater torque, which causes a faster precession, is applied during one of the seesawing motions, the one where the phone is pressing on the table. Because the table is in the way, the phone cannot make its full loop, and the table, according to Newton's third law, every action has an equal and opposite reaction, exerts a greater force on the phone. This can be demonstrated using a ruler on the gyroscope. I will let gravity pull the weight on the end of the gyroscope down, and we can watch it precess slowly. And then I will tap the weight up with greater force, and we can watch it precess in the opposite direction faster. Then, if I keep tapping, replicating the rapid hitting motion of the phone on the table, and let the weight list downward on its own, you will see the gyroscope move in a circle.